Kenshi is a game all about working your way up from nothing. So I picked the worst start imaginable, chose a skeleton, named him Kenshi, and got dropped into the desert. I had one arm and no supplies. I'm going to die! I started off by doing a little bit of one-armed mining while this guy watched me in the background, but I didn't mind him too much. After that, I was off to the nearest town to stock up on some supplies. It can be really rough making money in Kenshi's early game. Luckily you can pull out the tried and true video game method of quick saving, stealing, and quick loading if you get caught. To make things even easier, you can join the thieves guild and sell all your stolen goods to them. They want $10,000 as a joining fee though, so I put that off for now. Just went back to stealing more stuff and quick save and quick loading on merchants. You can also loot corpses for a slightly more legal way of making money, but it's a lot slower. Made sure to level up my lockpicking while I was at it, and stole some more stuff at night while the shops were empty. I even did a little bit of mining, but that proved to be quite slow. Did a little running through the desert, being chased by these sand bugs, but you know, that's uh, Kenshi for you. After that, I was headed off to the next town to move on with my journey. At this point in the game, I had a little bit of money to work with, but I still had almost no combat skills. If you're not familiar with Kenshi, the early game combat consists of you getting beaten to death quite a lot. Enemies in this game generally don't kill you, they just kind of leave your body there, and hopefully you get back up before you bleed out. I need a doctor. Especially if you're playing solo like this. You're also probably going to end up spending some of your time in prison. And if you're unlucky enough to be in the desert or another area with slavers, they're gonna take you out of prison and make you a slave. Luckily, they're not too smart, and a lot of the time when they lose you, you can just turn around, pick the locks, and walk away. The guards won't be too happy about it, though. So I headed back to town, and pretty much every guard in the town was trying to kill me. But I had enough time to sell stuff at a merchant while the game was paused. Well played, sir. There was uh, quite the mob of guards after me. Take them away, boys. They grabbed me, took me back, put me back in the cell again, and I ended up with some more slavers. Nani? This time I walked a little bit further away from town and stopped to tie my shoes. You go that way. I'll go home. They didn't care. They just left me there, and I was gone again. Free man. Did a little more fighting and losing on my way back to a small house I had made in the middle of the desert. After getting beat up for countless hours, I was starting to hit a stride and actually winning some fights, and then I fought some bugs. Their physics is kind of weird, so they went flying afterwards. Like Took the time to expand my small desert camp and research some stuff. Erecting a dispenser. I was still getting chased halfway through the desert by high-level guys on a regular basis, but that wasn't too big of a deal because I was pretty fast. I headed to the skeleton city in the middle of the black desert, which is another desert in this game. Yeah, there's a lot of deserts in Kenshi. And I stole a lot of robotic limbs. Robotic limbs are extremely expensive, so after selling them back, I was totally rich, and I had some sweet gear to go with it. There's this one point where some bandits knocked me out and stole my sweet gear. Luckily, I had trained my martial arts, so I went over there and beat them up. You will now receive the Fist of Fury. Prepare the long rubber glove. Oh, and just to add insult to injury, I took all of his bandages and dropped them on the ground. Enemies can't pick up things that are on the ground, so he probably bled to death afterwards. Chased down this guy who had one arm, I cut off his other arm as well. Uh, he probably died after. And then I chased another guy with two broken arms. Due to some weird animations, he just kept moving out of the way every time I tried to punch, so I eventually gave up. Now that I was sufficiently trained up, it was time to really start getting stuff done. First on my list were the Cactus Bandits. That's not their actual name, I don't really know what it is, but I killed all of them and I took their nice weapons. Still couldn't beat the city guards though, that didn't go too well. So I headed south to a region known as the Gut. There's a lot of these beak things there, which are basically murder giraffes, and them combined with some guy with a bow killed me. But I got back up and punched him to death, took his body, went to my nearby camp, and threw him in a cell I just made. For what reason? I'm not sure. I don't know, he can just sit in there for a while. Took revenge on all the beak things and kinda went on a killing spree for a while. After that, I went to some slave camps and started knocking out all the slavers. Not really sure what this guy was doing. I killed some of the nobles in the slave camps, made sure to take all their fancy clothes, even though I wasn't gonna use them, leave them on the ground so they can stay naked. 
With those small fries out of the way, it was time for my main goal, taking out the two emperors of the desert. I died a lot, so I just trained up for a while, till eventually I was able to beat them. And I took out all of his guards, the emperor went down in one swing, finished off his head captain, and let this guy crawl away for a while. After that, I helped myself to all the emperor's supplies, headed downstairs, and got ready. For some reason, the United Cities were no longer hostile to me after I had just killed their emperor. I don't know why, but I'll take it. Picked up his body, nice butt shot for you. And then I framed the whole scene for a nice picture. Say cheese. Decided to take him down back to Black Desert City. Took him for a little swim in the acid. Didn't bother me because I was made of metal. He didn't seem to like it too much though. After he was officially dead, I dropped him off in the skeleton bar and let them deal with the body. Before moving on to the final emperor, I had one other task on my mind. Getting these sweet robot limbs installed. So I headed far to the south to the skin bandits. These are some robots that think they're humans, so they peel human skin off and wear it. Yes, that's actually a part of the game. I jumped in one of their peelers to remove my limbs jumped out of the peeler, and equipped all of my sweet robot limbs that were super powered. Holy shit. I need a vacation. I wanted to kill their leader, so I aimed a crossbow at his head, but I guess the line of sight was messed up, so it never actually shot. I just kind of looked at him for a while. He's just standing there, menacingly. And then eventually, I decided to punch him to death. <clears throat> Grabbed his body, stuck him in his own peeler, and all of his friends came to try and save him. Eventually the entire city came after me, but I made sure he was dead, so I was on my way out. Got a blast. At this point I was extremely fast with double robot legs, and I headed back to the desert for my final objective. This one was going to be a real big fight. <laughs> yeah, boy. Luckily I was completely decked out and nobody really stood a chance against my super powered weapons, high stats, and crazy robot limbs. I am a machine. The other emperor went down in a single hit. Everybody else didn't take too much longer. He tried to get back up, but I slapped him again and he was down one more time. Fought off the last of his remaining guards and got everything set up for another nice picture. I had finally done it. Both emperors were dead and the desert devolved into chaos. Meanwhile, Kenshi sat on his iron throne and watched everything go down. A fitting end. What's the takeaway from all of this? Well, I'd say that Kenshi is pretty much what you make of it. I barely even left the northeast corner of the map in this. This game is absolutely massive, and there's just so much you can possibly do, but it's really up to your own imagination. Totally recommend checking it out if you're into this sort of stuff. Until next time, folks.